And this year, I voted for seven players. There were five holdovers, and then I had two new additions. The holdovers were Todd Helton, Andrew Jones, Jeff Kent, Scott Rowland, and Billy Wagner. I added Gary Sheffield, who I had never previously voted for, and then I voted for Carlos Beltran in his first year of eligibility, and that's the headline on my ballot, Bob, because a lot of folks looking at Beltran's career, you have to not only look at what he did on the field, but his involvement in the Astros sign-stealing scandal. Now, starting with what he did on the field, I mean, this is someone, he's one of eight players who had over 300 homers or 300 stolen bases. He was a postseason beast. He was an elite defensive player. He was a five-tool player. When I watched Carlos Beltran, I felt that I was watching a Hall of Fame player. Now, his involvement with the Astros sign-stealing scandal, he has admitted that he was involved in it. There are some who have painted him as one of the ringleaders. Carlos works with us at Yes. I had the opportunity to talk to him about everything that happened during that season, some of which, unfortunately for our viewers, I cannot share. But what happened to him with the Astros was not enough for me, Bob, to eliminate everything that he did on the field. And then I will add this as well. He's already been punished. He was the manager of the Mets and was stripped of that job. Hinch and Cora, who were the manager and the bench coach, respectively, with the Astros, they served a one-year suspension that ended up being a 60-game suspension, right. and they were both back working the next year. I'm not sure Carlos Belcher ever gets another shot to manage. Perhaps he will. His candidacy in his first year shouldn't be impacted by what happened with the Astros, as vile and as imperfect as that season was.